Hi, PCC family. It's me, Tracy G, once again. So, I got a request to do something that was meatless slash vegetarian. So, ask and you shall receive. So today I'm going to make a recipe that my family really loves, another one, a second one, and it is pasta puttanesca. So I have here on the table all of the ingredients that you will need. Got some really good olive oil, oregano, anchovy paste. I know you say anchovy paste, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Spanish olives, little cracked red pepper, some fresh minced garlic, capers, parsley, arugula, which is nice and spicy, some Parmesan cheese, tomatoes, and some whole wheat pasta. So we're gonna get started. And first things first, we're gonna add some olive oil to a pan. In this recipe, I actually quadruple, and let me tell you why. When we think about meatless meals, actually the recommendation for animal protein is that we eat less than 18 ounces of animal protein per week. So what that averages out to is about a little more than two and a half ounces per day, and those are the American Cancer Society recommendations. So today, I'm gonna to show you how you can quadruple that. So I'm, I quadruple this recipe because I'm gonna use it on pasta today, but you can top potatoes or rice or ozo pasta, just about anything because the sauce is so rich and it's delicious and it can make several meals. Okay, so I'm gonna let this oil heat up over medium heat. Got some really good olive oil too. And then I'm gonna to add to it some fresh minced garlic. And let it sweat down for about a minute. So we Americans, you know, we're overachievers, so we eat too much of everything, which means we eat too much meat. But I'm not there yet either, but I'm trying. And so my challenge to you while we are shut down is to increase the number of meals that you make meatless. So two, three times a week, have a meatless dinner. Fish and seafood are not included in that. Fish and seafood want you to have that maybe two to four times a week, but the animal protein, let it go. If you need some help with figuring out what rich, what, what recipe to use, email me. Okay, so this has been sauteing for about a minute. I'm going to add to this all the other herbs. So here, I've got some oregano and parsley, and I'm just gonna turn the fire down a little bit and let it kind of marry. Then I add in some cracked red pepper, and a little bit of red pepper goes a long way. And to that, I'm adding Spanish olives. You can use Spanish olives or Greek olives. That anchovy paste I told you about. And I know when you think anchovies, you say, I don't eat anchovies. Well, I don't either. But you really need it for this sauce. It just makes it rich and seasoned and yummy and so good. So the last ingredient I'm going to add to the mix right now is capers. And then I'm going to let all of this just come together for two to three minutes. And just let all of the seasonings combine. And then when it all comes together in about a minute or two, I will add petite diced 
tomatoes. All right, I think it's coming together nicely. Let me give it a nice try. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All the seasonings are coming together. So I'm gonna add to this mix diced tomatoes. So like I said, I did quadruple the recipe because I wanna have leftovers so that I can make at least one more meatless meal. I'm gonna bring this together, bring it to a boil, and then turn it down and let it simmer. And while it's doing what it does, I'm going to cook the pasta. And I'm using today whole wheat capellini pasta. When making the shift to whole wheat from regular pasta, I highly recommend that you go with capellini or angel hair. And the reason for that is because whole wheat pasta is pretty dense. And there might be an act of Congress if you just try to go with like a, I don't know, a penne or even a, a fettuccine. And um, so, but if you use the angel hair or the capellini, they're none the wiser, so don't even tell it. And it cooks really fast. Okay, so here's my sauce. I'm gonna bring it to a boil, and then I'm gonna turn the fire down and just let it cook for about five minutes. And in that five minutes, I'm gonna cook my capellini, and then it's time to eat. All right. So I've already got a pot of some salted boiling water, and to that, I'm gonna add my capellini. And please don't add any oil to the water. I'm gonna place my pasta in the pot, crisscross, and wait for it to come back to a boil which should be pretty quickly. You're gonna boil it without the top on. Once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna set the timer for two minutes and then it'll be almost time to eat. In the meantime, I'm gonna put the top on my sauce and let it do what it does. So while we're waiting for the pasta to come to a boil, I challenge you to do two, three, I don't know, four meatless meals a week. If you need some recipes, email me. Let's stay connected. It's been, we're on the third week of being separated and I miss y'all so much. So reach out and touch. Okay, looks like my pasta is coming to a boil. I'm just gonna stir it, you know, occasionally but as soon as it comes to a nice rapid boil then I'll set the timer for two minutes I'm gonna get my strainer ready you want to stir it so that your pasta does not stick and if you don't have one of these pasta spoons go to the 99 cent store and get one they're great tools to have on hand And I'm gonna get my strainer ready and my plate ready for dinner. Grab a clean plate. Got my plate ready. Got my strainer ready. Gonna set the timer for my pasta because capellini and your hair only takes like two minutes. Gonna get my strainer ready. 
so that I'm good to go. I'm gonna stir my pasta ever so often as it's cooking. Gonna check on my sauce, which looks just lovely. I'm gonna give it a try. How pretty is that? Gonna grab a spoon so I can give it a try. Really good. And that anchovy paste, I'm telling you, I've tried to make this without it, and you need it. It just gives it that little extra, mm. All right, I'm gonna stir my pasta, top back on this. Again, just to make sure that it doesn't stick, let me check the timer. We have about 28 seconds, so I'm gonna test it. So before you take it off the fire, give it a try to make sure that it's ready to go. Let's see. Mm. I think you can go one more minute. I'm gonna go one more minute. And then it'll be al dente. But it's not sticking. My sauce is coming together. When it's ready, I'm going to drain the pasta. And then I'm going to top it with some baby arugula and fresh grated Parmesan cheese. And then you've got like three, four servings of vegetable and one meat. And the goal is to get somewhere between seven and nine servings of fruits and vegetables, combination of the two per day. Our pasta's almost ready. My sauce is bubbly. How pretty is that? Oh. There's my timer, says my pasta's ready. Let me check it again, just to make sure we're ready to take it off. Some people say that you take the pasta out and you throw it against the wall or against the cabinet. I say just give it a try, it's ready. Okay. Gonna drain the pasta. I'm not gonna rinse it, by the way. Cause we wanna keep some of that starch. So I'm just gonna drain it. Don't wanna lose any. here and while it's still hot I'm gonna place some pasta now you could just throw this pasta into the pot along with the sauce but which I would recommend but we're gonna give this a try right now because I want you to see how pretty the plate is that should be enough I'm gonna throw some of this yummy sauce on top Oh yeah, it's ready to go. So I turn the fire off, get a nice amount of sauce on top. I like sauce. How pretty is that? Then I'm gonna I'm gonna do a double dip. So I'm gonna top the pasta. 
with a little bit of fresh grated Parmesan and then some baby arugula that I washed and spun dry. Then a little more Parmesan. And there you have it. So we need to give it a try, right? We get a four. Spin it all together. Make sure you get a little bit of everything in here. So this is one meal that can turn into, I don't know, two, three, four meals because tomorrow you can put it on top of a baked potato, on top of rice, on top of orzo, or you could just have some leftover pasta. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So good. So good. Email me. If you need some ideas on meatless meals, until the next time I see you again, I really miss y'all. Let's just try to stay connected. Love you. Bye.